Dear brothers and sisters, we all want to excel, don't we? We all want to do better. We all want to rise in life. We want to say at the end of each year that what I have done this past year, I have made progress over these last several months. We all want to be in a much better place as we grow older. And we instill in our children that desire to excel, to be good, to be better. We see that when we send our kids off to school. They have to get A's. They have to study hard. <laughs> While still in middle school, our children are already thinking about their careers and what colleges to attend. That desire to excel grows in them, voluntarily or involuntarily. The desire to excel we see in all facets of life. To learn instruments and study music, to be the best player, to excel in sports, to attend all kinds of practices and drills, hour upon hour upon hour, all the time that we spend to excel. All of us, all of you who have been through college know that quite well, the sacrifice needed to get a degree, how many sleepless nights, how much you have to sacrifice in order to study for exams. All of us who have excelled in the workplace understand all the weekends you had to put in, all the extra hours in order to get that promotion. It's not easy. And today, before us, we have this icon. The icon that we bring out on every fourth Sunday of the Great Fast. The icon of the vision of St. John Climacus, St. John of the Ladder, who had a vision and wrote a book about life. And life is a ladder, he says. And we are to rise up using each step of this ladder to rise. Not necessarily to have a great career or to be a wonderful sports person, but to rise to heaven. Each step on that ladder represents either a vice or a passion that we have to overcome or represents a virtue, a good deed that we have to master. We are all called to rise upon that ladder. But many of us strive to rise to go up different ladders, ladders of life, career, music, sports, academics. And we don't have time for this ladder. Don't have time. We don't have time to pray. We don't have time to come to church. We don't have time to be patient. We hold grudges. Our pride is firmly rooted in our souls. We are stingy. We are impatient. We think about ourselves. We don't rise on according to that ladder. But our careers are okay. Everything in sports and music and everything else is okay. 
But this ladder, when we get older, brothers and sisters, during this great fast, the church calls us to increase our prayers, calls us to abstain from certain foods, calls us to be more generous, calls us to fight more fervently against our sins and weaknesses so that we may be cleansed, so that we may draw closer to God, so that our eyes may be opened and we may behold the bright day of the resurrection of Pascha. Truly behold it, truly see it, truly understand it. And today, this fourth Sunday of the fast, the church brings out for us a reminder that we are to rise up a spiritual ascent because our salvation depends upon it. Christ, we heard last week when we saw the cross in the middle of the church, Christ died on the cross for us, for our salvation. He died on the cross for us to wipe away all that prevents us from drawing closer to God. He dies on the cross to open to us a life of grace so that we can rise up to Him. Let us embark on this ladder. Let us pray every day. Let us fast when the church tells us to fast. Our Lord tells us many things. He reminds us that we have to deny ourselves and to take up our cross and follow Him. We heard today's second gospel reading about the Beatitudes. All the Beatitudes as basically a job description for us in life on being peacemakers, on being merciful, on being pure in heart, on thirsting and longing for God's righteousness, on being willing to accept those who revile us and stand up against us and persecute us because we rejoice for great is our reward in heaven. He tells us to be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect. He tells us to love God with all of our heart and with all of our soul and to love our neighbor as ourself. He tells us many things to do. And today he's saying to us, pray and fast. We heard how this poor father was so worried about his son and the, the disciples couldn't do anything. This demon, demon held this son so strongly. And this demon made this, this young person do all kinds of harmful things. Finally, our Lord rebuked the spirit and saved the boy. And he told his disciples, this kind can only come out through prayer and fasting. All of us experience that. We have all done at least one thing that was completely out of our control. Sin moves us to do things that we don't want to do. How many of us say, I want to forgive that person, but I just can't. I want to let go, but I just can't. How many of us have said things or done things in anger that we are completely ashamed about just minutes later? How many of us can't stop eating or drinking or pursuing any kinds of physical pleasures? Sin controls us. And our Lord tells us that only through prayer and fasting can we overcome that control? With faith, you can do great things, he says. So let us, brothers and sisters, with faith, ascend the ladder that stands before us. Instill in our children the desire to grow spiritually, 
in addition to academically and physically and psychologically. And let us always use that desire to excel, to rise up and grow in holiness, to rise up this ladder. Because in the end, when we're called from this earth, what is left? It's just you and God. And if we try to rise up the ladder, if we try to do well, if we sincerely endeavored to grow in faith, then we will see the top of that ladder. We will see the brightness of the resurrection. We will see the glory of God's heavenly kingdom. But we have to climb. We have to work. You notice on here, there are devils pulling the people off the ladder. Yes, our Lord gives us the ladder. He gives us his grace. He gives us the Holy Spirit. He gives us his body and blood. He gives us the intercessions of the all-pure mother and all the saints. He gives us much help. But the devil is always there waiting to pull us down. And we have to fight. We have to climb. We have to struggle. So that we may make it to the top. So let us, brothers and sisters, use our desire that's in us to excel. Let us use it to excel spiritually, to grow in holiness, so that we may resemble the saints in their zeal and in their burning love. Through the prayers of the Holy Venerable Father of Climacus, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, help us sustain us and enable us to climb the ladder. Amen.